So for around 18 years, I've been waiting for a new Stargazer model kit. And the closest thing we've gotten from Bandai is the Luna Gundam, which is basically a Delta Gundam with Stargazer parts. Stargazer looking parts, let's just say that. It looks cool. I like it as a model, but it's not the Stargazer. But finally, and it's not even a Bandai model, we got a Master Grade Stargazer Gundam. And uh, the company is, what is it called? Um, Supreme Evolution. And you know what? Good name. Uh, the model itself is called a Glory. Once again, a good name for it. And it's not a 1-100 Master Grade. It's actually a 1-99.9. That's right. That's 0.1% changes everything. And it looks great. It's, it is stylized. Uh, but if you think about the new, the newer like uh, Freedom 2.0, the Justice, the Providence, it works very nicely with those models, and even some um, other third-party ones. So it it's got look, it's, it's got great plastic. Every, a lot of parts are very very tight putting them together, especially like some of the joints. And a few parts I was worried they're gonna crack. Nothing cracked. Nothing stressed. Nothing broke. And the only part I really think is kind of loose are the hips. Um, just going forward and back. They're, they move a little too easily, and when you get to the backpack, it's going to be a bit of a problem. And I also love the gold chrome. Uh, it reminds me of the High Aku Shiki 2.0. And you actually get two different kinds. Uh, one is a little darker. Um, I, the, uh, like the beef in here, There's, it's a small plate, but the beef in there is a little a little more of a dull gold compared to the other parts, like all the lines down here, which you can actually swap out for black. Basically, when Stargazer isn't powered, uh, using the, uh, the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the propulsion it can use to go faster and faster, and when it's activated. So yeah, it's nice to have those. Would it have been interesting to have like holographic stickers or something like clear with like holographic parts because eh. it kind of like the uh the stickers on the uh luna gundam you know what i like the gold chrome so i'm, I'm okay with it and it's got the posability where it counts um at pretty much whatever you would expect for a normal master grade this one can do and you got the uh pile of hands that you can swap out which are all good that torso is pretty nice i like how it can move side to side you gotta be careful when you're putting the white parts in, because this one here was a little warped, but I was able to bend it just slightly enough because it wasn't sticking out as far as it should. A little bit of a problem. But everything else, this has like a weird like clicking point. Whatever. But while the hips are a little loose, they can still move very nicely, go about. You've got a great knee. Love that knee. What was that? Oh, side skirt. Um, opening flap here for some reason. An opening flap at the toe. I don't know why, because that they decided to. Um, uh, oh, I was a liar. I thought the toe didn't bend. It goes down. I was I was trying to bend it up. That's my fault. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything, everything works great on this kit. And uh, let's get into the uh, weapons because it doesn't come with much. Because Stargazer is not meant to be a um, mobile suit for combat. It's for deep space exploration. But in the show, it did have to grab a civilian Astray beam rifle. And I got the holding hand. Fits great in the hand. It's got a little tab to go through. Now you can actually swap this out. This is the normal version from the show. And then you have a longer barrel. It's just a matter of pulling the white and then the black. Which is really tight. I really had a horse on that the first time. Make sure it was uh, easy. And there, you got a longer version. Reminds me of like the Jinx Master Grey where you have the swappable part. That's kind of cool. I'm probably going to leave it with... Oops. I'm probably going to leave it with the... Uh, God. The uh, small barrel just because that's the way it was in the show. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave this off because the other thing you get. Now, this set comes with eight of these clear effect pieces. Which look like daggers. Or like icicles um, and you just have to take off the uh, little red jewels here now I made sure that they were already pulled up a little bit that's because they're like I said things are very tight when you build this kit so when you're building it make sure to follow the directions to the letter because you might not be able to get it apart again but what you can do is you've got an adapter so you can connect here with three other pieces 
and now you've got like a weird trying like a, a triple sickle going on and just now there's one problem with these things which isn't really a problem here because all the joint all the holes here are tight except for the top one but the top one is it's gravity working but that's cool I really like that but what else you can do with these because like I said you get eight you get two of these rings and you can put four on one side and four on the other and these will peg into the ring yeah the o-ring that it's got on its back this thing's just as beautiful it has nice clear green uh, gold I forgot to mention there are some uh, two plates that have pre applied uh, paint and this is one of like these parts here inside here you got the uh, kind of like a gunmetal and you got some parts on the actual model itself but they tab at the top and the bottom not super tight and they're okay the hole for the most part uh, you've also got a little adapter up oh, here it is which will peg down here so if you want to have this connected to like a stand by itself or like use another like a Tamashi stand to like kind of support the back of the uh, model with this attached you can do it it's also got several hinges that you can use so if you separate it you can get them apart um, it's got let's see you can unpeg it here it's very tight there and then it's also got a big hinge here which is it clicks into place it's tight when it's uh, compact but when you extend it I don't know what happened there why it doesn't seem to lock I don't think I did anything wrong just two pieces of plastic but it just seems to be too uh, maybe too bendy here because it just it doesn't lock at all it only locks like that so you kind of have no point in extending it it could have been maybe used for a stand like something like the uh, the high grade and the SD can do but not like this just it's no way but like I said it locks together very nice when it's compacted now let's get this attached to the stargazer it's pretty simple now this should be more of like a tab but it just kind of frictions inside and you're really not going to have a problem with it unless you're holding it like I am right now with the weight of it and it might slide off eventually but it's not going to fall apart just because it's standing on the shelf and you might be thinking well it's going to be kind of back heavy with that big honking ring on its back and it is uh, you can get it to stand without any help um, I find I just have to like have one leg slightly farther back but they thought of it they actually give you a kickstand much like the master grade high new gun version Kotoki has now this goes right into this hole and it's just gonna clip into there and now you got a kickstand for your stargazer and its backpack and we might as well get these onto the pack now the problem with this I mentioned before it's for both sides one side these icicle effects are perfectly fine they don't move but the other side they're kind of loose some are looser than others but they're they're very loose and I, it's really annoying trying to get it all up and they there's some that just will not stay some have a tad bit of friction and if you're lucky they'll kind of stay but some are just way too loose which means you really can only have them properly displayed on one side which I don't really have a problem with um, they just go into a groove in the center of the ring. Now initially I didn't think I'd like this, but the more I look at it, the more I think it's really cool. It gives me kind of a Providence or Legend vibe with these uh, effects all over it. And even though I can't get the other side to like stay properly, I, I think it's fine just having it pegged in with the one side showing the front is fine. Or if you want to do the back, it doesn't matter. The parts are clear, so you can't really tell that much that there should be there are some holes it's hard to see though I think because there's so much uh, glistening which the plates actually called glisten so I thought that was kind of neat and I've even got the uh, that little adapter in the back here to make sure that these two halves don't separate down here so your rings not going anywhere your models not going anywhere the parts aren't flying off and now I have the perfect model that's gonna be paired with on a shelf master grade strike noir and this isn't the official Bando one, this is the Dragon Momoko, which has more detailed, it's more, it's got some more exaggerated pieces here and there. I think it fits the design of this one, and as I said before, the newer Seed Master Grades really well. This thing is great. If this is the first editing for this company, they did a spectacular job. It's glorious.